stay or will you walk? Yeah. Always have my eye on you like I'm a hawk. And sometimes I would think you would bring me luck. Hey guys, welcome to the Easy For You channel. So today's video is gonna be an eye look tutorial. So we're gonna come a little closer. Thanks to my good sis and my bestie, Miss Dawn Nadine, for recommending me to do this eye look tutorial. So you could check out her on her IG, which is Miss Dine. It's always lit in there. So I'm going to start by priming the eyes. I'm using um, Painterly by MAC Cosmetic. So I'm applying a thin layer and I'm blending it out with my um, fingers. And then I'm gonna go in using the Juvia's eyeshadow palette in Warrior. And I'm gonna use kind of like this brownie, warm brown color. So I'm gonna pack on the color and then blending it out till it gets to the intensity that I want. Then I'm gonna go in with the, um, sorry, Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette in Mothership 5. And I'm gonna use kind of like a cooler more brown so I'm gonna do the same thing packing it on blending it out because the thing is when you blend out sometimes it fades the color out so I want this look to be popping so these are mostly the two eyeshadow palette I'm gonna be using throughout the video and they are black owned Truvia's palette is a little bit more affordable than the Pat McGrath but these two palettes are amazing with pigmentation and blendability and this is how the eye looks supposed to look like so don't be scared you guys are doing excellent you guys are on track then I'm gonna go in with a darker shade. I'm packing it on and blending and it's still in the crease. So you're gonna see the eyeshadows in the video looks a little bit faded. That's due to my light, but in person they're more vibrant. Then I'm gonna go in with that um, warm transition shade again, just to blend out any harsh line. And don't be scared to go all the way to the eyebrows if you have to because we're going to add a highlight onto it which will cover it up. So I'm going to use a concealer to cut the crease. I'm using the Maybelline Insta Age Rewind, the shade Golden. So you're going to see me look up. So basically is to um, using it as a guide to where I should cut my crease because my eyes are a little bit hooded so this trick helps a lot i've seen that on youtube and this is amazing and yes so make sure you have a steady hand when you're doing this so i'm gonna go with an off white shade to pack on the color just because it was a little bit sticky so you see me having powder underneath my eyes that's just because i did my foundation first and just in case i have any fallout it will catch it and then i could just dust it off so like that my makeup won't get ruined and i'm gonna go in with this shimmer shade from pat mcgrath and i'm gonna put it in the middle of my eyelid her shimmers are amazing so I want to go in a pack pack motion. Then I'm going to go in with this shimmer color and I'm going to put it in the inner eye look. So I'm packing it on and kind of blending it into the other color. Then I'm going to apply this other like light bronze shimmer color and I want to apply in the outer half. So I noticed in the original I had used a little bit more of a bronzy color, which was the, the Dihomi, and I just remember it now. So in this video, I skipped that step. But if you want more of a bronzy look, be my guest and apply it on. Then I'm going to go with a dark shade in the outer corner of the eyes, and I'm going to blow it out. So I'm going to pack it on and blend it out. So this eye look compared to the original, the original was slightly darker, but I don't think you could really tell the difference. 
either look looks amazing my mirror is a little bit dirty due to foundation guys I had this mirror for a long time and it was like two dollars or something at Dollarama it's like a hand mirror and on the other side there's the magnified mirror Then I'm gonna go in with even a deeper shade. You see my <laughs> my face? Like you don't need much of this. Instead of going for a black, if black is very um, you're scared of black, you could go for a deeper brown, which is less um, less scary. Then I'm gonna go in with that white shade. So it looks white, but it's kind of like an iridescent color. That's why I love Pat McGrath's eyeshadow. So um, depending where you shift it, it has more of a golden tone to it. So I'm gonna apply it in the middle of my eyelid in a tap tap motion. Like, wow. You guys are gonna see the difference. Like, look. Do you see how it gives it kind of like a pop to it? Then I'm gonna go with Jayla Rue. It's a loose shimmer and it's in the shade um, White Gold. So I'm gonna do the same thing because some people I know use um, glitter glue, but I'm just gonna go in my tip with my fingertips. I couldn't remember if I only put it in the middle in the video or the whole lid. So in this video, you're gonna see me putting it from the inner to the um right before i hit the dark the outer corner like wow like damn then i'm gonna apply this like shimmer shimmery color and you just need a little bit i'm gonna apply it underneath my eye eyebrows as my brow highlight and then you're gonna see me blending it with um, a blending brush. I didn't pick no product up, but I previously used that brush when I applied the eyeshadow. So it's just a leftover eyeshadow that's on that brush basically. And I'm just blending it. Just so it's to look seamlessly. So I'm using a liquid eyeliner from NYC. I prefer to use liquid eyeliner when I do glitter I look just because I think it looks a lot smoother yeah it's a lot easier because I already take forever to do my <laughs> makeup so I'm not trying to add more time to it so make sure that line is sharp and I went a little bit more higher and thicker because we want to be glamorous so I'm using the mascara that my good sis, Bestie Hobbin, got me for my B-Day. And I'm brushing off the excess powder out. And I'm gonna apply an eye coal. It's by MAC and it's the shade Feline. So um, Hobbin also has a channel. It's called Hablu TV that she does with her sister. So check them out. It's like very very entertaining and fun thank me later guys so sorry moving on um i got distracted so yeah so i'm gonna go in with the i'm gonna go in the darker shadow first to smoke it out and then i'm gonna go with that transition color to smoke it out even more i love a good lower line smoke out eyeshadow <laughs> and i'm gonna go in my mascara by mac extended play it's really good if you have baby lashes then you see me in the video i'm gonna go in with the iridescent eyeshadow from pat mcgrath and i'm gonna apply it in the inner corner of my eyes done so this is how the looks look like so it's very similar to the original one. I don't think you could tell the difference, but I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much guys for sticking right through the end of this video. And Nadine, I hope I answered your question on how to get this eye look. <laughs> and 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. So if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Don't be shy. I would love to answer your questions. I want to touch base. Moving on, I want to touch base on the lips. I noticed in the original video, the lips was more of a browny nude color, while in this one is more of a pinky mauve nude. I for sure thought that was the color that I used in the original video. And looking at it, I think I'm wrong. And I can't remember the color that I used. So I was thinking to make a video of my top three nude colors or my top five or something like that. But we need to keep in mind that um, just because the colors look nude on me may not look nude on you. Because as we know, nude colors have different variation because of the different skin tones. So that being said, I want to thank the EC4U family for sticking through with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. As well as welcome to the new EC4U family. Um, we're going to have lots of fun. So yes. So I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys later. Tell me can we talk? I just told you everything that's on my heart